We are so happy to come to you once again with the Word of God this evening. Thank you so much for, for sparing your time to listen to the Word of God. And with us today, we have Pastor Gabriel, a man of God, who loves to teach God's Word. And today we want to talk something regarding the words we speak from our tongue, which is so important. You know, Pastor, a lot of things has been shown and talk talk in the Bible regarding our tongue, which means we use our tongue to speak the words. So I just want to ask you from the Word of God, how important is the words that we speak? So can you share something to our viewers this evening? Yes, yes, for sure. Uh, well, greetings in the name of Jesus. I'm so happy to be able to be in this uh, show once again. Thank you so much, Brother Nathaniel. Let me mention to you a scripture from God's Word that has really uh, helped me over the years and also I believe that as we discuss these things, these will be very helpful for your life. In Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21, there is a marvelous scripture that this wise man, Solomon, by the action of the Spirit of God, he writes this portion of, of the Word of God that says this, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit, the Bible says. Mm, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. I used to ask this question a lot of times, you know, to a lot of people. Why is the tongue of a human being so powerful and so different from all the tongues of the other creations of God? Mm -hmm. You know, an animal like a dog has a tongue. Mm -hmm. An animal like a cat, domestic animal like cats have a tongue. Mm -hmm. You know, the, all, all the animals have a tongue. But the speciality of the tongue of a human being, Brother Nathaniel, is that the human, are, the human tongue is an organ that can form words. Mm -hmm. It is only the, the tongue of a human being that can form words. Mm -hmm. And that's why the tongue is the organ in our body which is the smallest and has no bones, but it is so powerful and effective that it could bring death and life to your own tongue and also to I mean to your own life and also to the life of others that you speak to so the Bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue you know and those who love it will eat its fruit because the words that come out of our mouths ladies and gentlemen you know our words are like seeds they are containers they contain something with what we say out of our mouth Dead and life, that means our words could be filled with faith, our words could be filled with fear, our words could be filled with blessings, our words could be filled with cursing. Mm. So the words that come out of our mouth is so important because in fact it will it will determine the destiny of your own life, where you're going to be. Wow. That powerful is the tongue. So you know, let me show you another scripture before we go into more discussions. I will read to you from the Bible. Uh, you remember in in one particular scripture that is in the book of uh, in the book of in the, in the letters of James chapter three. You know yes, there sir. is a very important scripture in God's word. Let's let's look at that scripture together. You know because a lot of times when we look at this scripture, we can learn a lot. In James chapter three, James he spends this whole chapter speaking about the tongue. I mean the whole chapter devoted to just speaking about tongues. I mean. Why would that be so important? I mean, mm -hmm. to discuss about a small little organ in the body, the member of the body, and he discusses the whole chapter about it. That means it is something very serious, mm -hmm. something very important, something very crucial, something that could determine your life. Look at this. He said, My brethren, let not many of you become teachers, knowing that we have received a stricter judgment. Verse 2 says, For we all stumble in many things. If anyone does not stumble in word, he is a perfect man, able also to bridle the whole body. Wow. That's powerful. Yes, sir. That's very powerful. Look at it. And he gives, uh, then he compares, he says this. He says, Indeed, we put bits in horses' mouth that they may obey us and we turn their whole body. Look also at ships, although they are so large and are driven by fierce winds, they are turned by a very small rudder wherever the pilot desires. That means James is giving us this example compare, comparing about a horse, an animal, and then a ship which is a non-living object, where a ship is being controlled by that small rudder, you know, the captains, I mean, maybe there must be a fierce winds coming, fierce wind coming, but then the, 
you know, the captain could just turn the direction of the ship to the place that he desired with that small rudder. Wow. And with the bits of that uh, that is kept in the horse's mouth, mm -hmm. I mean, a person riding on a horse could turn that horse in any direction he wants. Mm -hmm. And then he speaks about tongue saying this, that the tongue, even so the tongue is a little member and boasts great things, so how great a forest a little fire kindles. That means, I say this to people, if you want heaven in your life, you have to be, you have to make sure what's coming out of your mouth. If you want hell in your life, if you want hell in your life, That's you have powerful. to be careful yes, what you're saying out of your mouth. Amen. Because you want to have heaven, it's your words. Mm -hmm. If you want to have hell, it's your words. Yes, sir. So, so it's so important what we are saying because our life will be directed in the direction of our words. Mm -hmm. Our life is always directed in the direction of our words. What are you speaking every day? Mm -hmm. What are you speaking to yourself? What are you speaking to others? What are you speaking, you know, especially this is a lot of time, you know. Brother Nathaniel, let me look to you another scripture from God's word very quickly. That is in Psalms 34. I love this scripture, an Old Testament scripture in Psalms 34. I believe this will really be so helpful to all of you, you know. This has helped me over the years and I believe this will help you also. He says this. He says in verse 11 to 13, Brother Nathaniel, listen to this. He said, come you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. So he says, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. And what is that fear of the Lord? He says, who is the man who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Let me ask you a question. Do you want to see good things in your life? Yes, sir. Do Definitely. you want to see your life prosperous? Yes, sir. Do you want to see yourself healthy? Oh, yes, sir. Do you want to see yourself reach the destiny that God has for you? That's what I long for. Yes. I mean, that's what even I long for, Brother Nathaniel. But the question is, the Bible is saying that if you desire life and you want to see many days and you want to see good in your life, you have to be careful what comes out of your mouth. It says this. Look at verse 13. Very amazing. He says this. Who is the man who desires life? Do you desire life, ladies and gentlemen? And then he says, and love many days. Do you want to live long? Third, number three, that he may see good. Do you want to see good in your life? And then verse 13 says this, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking guile. Be careful what comes out of your mouth. Now, Pastor Gabriel, if this is such a wonderful, wonderful word, the deep, the, the revelation of God's word regarding our tongue. Now, I saw this in, 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 in Mark chapter 11, verse 23 to 24. That's right. When it was talking about speaking to the mountains, which is our circumstances. That's right. Well, I see there that three times it's been mentioned to speak something. Yes, sir. So, you know... Sometimes we, we, we too much use our tongue in speaking the words like gossiping. Yes. Or sometimes we, we speak words which, which doesn't fill, build up our faith. Yes, right. So, you know, sometimes it really affects the atmospheres and even in the family things. So, what do, you, what do you have to say regarding this, this from the Word of God? Ah, oh, wow. That's a very good question. You know, Brother Nathaniel, I mean, the words out of our, when we speak words out of our mouth, we can create an atmosphere. Mm. Whether an atmosphere of peace, an atmosphere of joy, an atmosphere, you know, in a lot of homes, if you go, if there's always fights, if always, there are always fights and there are gossips, there are talks, there are wrong words being spoken in any particular house that you go, if there are usually just fight of words, you know, wrong words being spoken in that, in that mm -hmm. atmosphere of the house. You know, when you enter into a presence like that, you will, you would know that there is something not right going on in that atmosphere of the house because your words are still there. They say that words never die. Okay, wow. Words never die. Words that means never die. never die. That means if you speak words, they are in, they're hanging in the atmosphere. Wonderful. That's why. That's why you see, even in our praising to God, even when we praise God, as we release our words out of our mouth, see there is a there is a release in the atmosphere as we worship God with the words of our mouth, where the presence of God is manifested in that place. So that means we can have the the presence of God manifested when we speak God's word, when we speak, when we exalt Him. So the same way as we speak wrong things, that atmosphere, atmosphere of oppression, depression, atmosphere of stress, you know, worriness, all of that will come out as you let it out of your mouth. 
when you vent those thoughts out of with words out of your mouth that's what you're going to be having in your life and that's why a lot of homes are broken today because of the words that have been spoken about brokenness a lot of people are sick today because the same they have been releasing words of sickness over themselves a lot of people are not seeing the destiny that god has for them because they're speaking they've been speaking all negative to their own self i mean they're speaking all wrong things about their own self they say you know we cannot do it they say no we cannot make it they say no i'll never be able to do this but when you look at the scriptures i mean paul the apostle you know there is a scripture in philippians 4:13 we all know that scripture where where paul in the he was in the prison circumstances was before him but he chose to say i can do all things to christ who strengthens me i mean he just began to speak god's word and that word strengthened him and the circumstances just you know was was he override that the the all the circumstances because of the words that came out of his mouth you know wow so words are so powerful amen they could build you they could destroy you and they could they could take you to your destiny words are powerful wonderful Now this is very serious. This is not to be taken lightly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if we want to see changes in our life, Pastor Gabriel, so we need to change first with the words we speak from yes, our mouth. Yes, that's right. So, viewers, I want to encourage you to listen to this word of God very carefully. Mm-hmm. The atmosphere in the family, the things that doesn't change in the family. If we want to bring change, we need to change first our way of speaking. That's right. So, because of the limitation of time, we will not be able to finish this topic which we have started today. But I believe in the yes, days sir. to come we're going to talk more about this topic because yes. I believe it will bring a changes in your life in your family. If you want to see your situation change, yes. Pastor Gabriel change your words. That's right. Amen. So the first change that needs to take place is in your mouth. Amen. I mean that's where the change needs to begin with. If your words are changing, you'll have a change of life. and you'll have a change of destiny amen and you will see good in your life mm. and you will live long and strong so thank you so much for 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 seeing our teachings and i believe this revelation of god's word will change you more and you will experience the power of god in the days to come we will come to you once again with the word of god from a man of god who have come up with this revelation So thank you. May God bless you and I pray that this teaching will change your life, will change Amen. your family until we meet once again in Jesus name. Amen.